Okay, we are live. Hi, this is William Ramsey. Welcome to William Ramsey Investigates. On today's show, I have a very special guest, a returning guest. We've done seven shows in the past, I think, according to my podcast, going all the way back to, I think, 2016, 2017. His, his name is Jim Smith. He's very active on Twitter at Smiley Face Cult. And I asked him to come back on because something remarkable has happened in this whole SFK, Smiley Face Killers phenomenon, and it is this uh, terrible disappearance of Riley Strain, last name is S-T-R-A-I-N, in Nashville, Tennessee. And what's remarkable about it is it his disappearance fits all the parameters of this phenomenon. But the the media presence, the media attention, and social media attention is like nothing I've ever seen. He's on all these channels, News Nation, Internet, Nancy Grace, uh, and even Jim Smith was on Fox talking about the case today. We can talk more about that, but if you're watching this on YouTube or X or Rockfin, you will see this video, and it is a remarkable video. And we were talking in the pre-show. This might be one of the most, of all these videos that I've seen, I've seen a lot of videos, unfortunately. This might be the most important video in the whole Smiley Face Killers phenomenon. And it is a picture from the Birch Building. And we'll go through kind of the map of Riley for people who may not be familiar and may not grasp the importance of this video because it's fall it this isn't riley strain so we're not saying this is him this is something that happened after he passed down going north on i think this street uh from where he was at luke bryan's bar but it just shows people coming out of the woodwork it's really remarkable and i was commenting that this is such an important thing because the police are looking at the last ping of Riley Strain, but they need to find out who these people in the video are because they're probably pinging on a tower if they are holding a cell phone and not a flashlight or anything like that. But Jim Smith can talk more about that. So, Jim Smith, welcome back to the show. Thank you so much, William. What a great introduction. Appreciate awesome, you having well, me. Well, I appreciate you. I appreciate you returning and I appreciate your hard work, your diligent work on this. You were the number one researcher on my first documentary, 2017. Very well received. I have great comments on Vimeo. People can check that out. Three and a half hours of work on, like, I think it was 88 cases I did, or something crazy like that. But uh, it's been a while. We followed this. I published my book. You're in the book, and it covers our conversation, so people can check that out. Smiley Face Killers is about college-age men, right? And Riley Strain is, I think he was in his senior year at Missouri, but was visiting Nashville with his frat brothers when he got separated from the group. But this video is remarkable because I took a screenshot of your video yesterday and it was at 287,000 views which is really something else for the smiley face killers but we were talking the pre-show you're almost about to crack a million views on this video right yeah it's correct almost yeah. a million something wow. like we've never seen before yeah, unreal yeah it really is uh, something else so maybe you can talk a little bit about this video i can play it in the background I'll, there's no audio so maybe you can Explain what is happening while I play that. Is that all right? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Right, cool. Let's do it. I'm going to have to play. So this is lo the, right past the bridge, um, the second bridge. I don't. We don't have a map up where oh. this is. I'll after bring it up in just officer. a second. I'll bring the map up in a second. Okay. Well, this is after where the pol Riley was seen by the police officer on his cam walking by. And that's probably, I would say, roughly 500 feet back um, to the right. There's a car speeding by hitting their brakes. Um, another car braking. And there's one white shirt individual, it looks like, walking down the street. And this is where Riley's phone pinged last a minute um, before, just a little bit ahead of that. And it didn't ping ever again. This is after the bridge. This is a uh, the Birch building. Um, someone, someone went and linked up the times. And the last pings, and this is what they have. And if you'll see as the as the video, it looks like not just the person in a white shirt, which it can't be Riley, because Riley just had his shirt on when he was past the police officer. And and as the white person in a white shirt is doing, he's standing there, it's by the wall. It looks like two other individuals come out and they're walking in the same direction. They're both wearing all black. Um, one person's looking on their cell phone, they came up from that wall. It's extremely suspicious. I mean, Riley's phone stops pinging it right at that point. At that time, there's cars 
there's three cars that drive by. I mean, there's that there's a truck that just went by that people, the police really need to find out who that is and talk to them and see what they saw and what other cameras are available right there. And, you know, um, frankly, I think they made a mistake. They don't want us to see this. We weren't supposed to see this. They think that the last camera was before the bridge. They didn't know that right. this building had this, this camera right there. Yeah, it's incredible. It really is. So for people who may not know his route, let me see if I can bring up a map. His route is basically going north from, here it is. This is where he was supposed to be. It was at the Tempo, but this was, I think this was where his hotel was, but he was going mm -hmm. up First Avenue and there's two bridges, right? So he was yes. seen by a police car before both bridges. A police was checking out a, a allegation of a burglary and then his phone pings. And then after both bridges is where that video was, which didn't capture him, but it captured these strange figures in the dark, right? Yep. I have a better map. No. I have a better map somewhere. But, I mean, it is uh, it is remarkable that those people... Oh, here's a good map right here. So this was from a guy. I saw you retweet yes. this. Yes. But he Great. shows... The red dot here for people is where there is a video of Riley caught by a police officers where there's kind of a an exchange where how is it going, sir? And I'm well or something. And Riley keeps walking. And then this tin, this blue part is like the last ping. And then the orange is where the video was taken after. It's weird that Riley isn't seen on this camera or the video that you have, but it's taken after he passed, right? Yes, he's not. He's not seen on that. I I don't know. I the, the whole video is posted online. I've gotten that question a thousand times, um, the last two days, and all somebody, another investigator posted that, and and a friend of mine just went and took that part out, which is one minute, um, after his phone ping for the last time. That's so, it's that's a pretty big coincidence. That's a pretty short time frame. That's a pretty short window right there before everything stopped. I mean, I, the police didn't even. We I saw them on camera yesterday on Twitter that somebody showed them my video that I posted, and that they said they had never even seen that video, and that they had only seen the last video of him before the bridge. Um, I found that really shocking, but not not shocking because it certainly seems like the police are not interested at all um, in solving this case, and it's more about saving face. Yeah, unfortunately, that seems to be a common occurrence in these uh, in this event. But yeah, it's it's really incredible. So they haven't found his body. His last text said "Good Lops L O P S," and people said, "I think I you posted this thing where it was somebody said that he was communicating with a somebody on his phone, right?" And you kind I've of believe that. Do you what's your thoughts about this story? Is it do you believe that it rings true, or um, what? What are your thoughts? Um, I'm not sure to be honest with you. I I actually probably do think this is true. I do think he was talking to someone. Um, he sure seemed diligent, trying to get. He was walking somewhere pretty diligently. I will say, even though that earlier in the video he's falling down, um, but I do believe this video. I sure do. Right, and so he he was probably talking. Maybe somebody was connecting. We talking know on the phone. Yes, leading him. That's I'm sorry. Right, right. And so he only had one drink at the bar. Be he was possibly pre gaming or pre drinking. Mm -hmm. Um, and then what are your thoughts about that, William? Tell me. Very suspicious. Like, how much did he drink? He's a, he's a senior in college. Is he really going to get that wasted that early? This is a kind of unusual case. Mm -hmm. In some ways, because usually it's later at night. Right? It is right. That's that this is is very unusual that that this was at ten o'clock, nine thirty, at night. It's usually all the crimes that we've seen in the last yeah. year. Are, I mean, almost all of them are after one thirty, two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, right. Very late. So this is uh, unusual, and to me, mm -hmm. he acts like somebody drunk. He's not when he talks mm -hmm. to the cop. There's no slur. He is no. acting strange, but. If he does. you're really drunk, you're like, yes, we're off. Of right. Yeah. Speak. He doesn't do that. He goes, I forgot what his comment was, but it was very, it was very quick, actually. There's no delay. 
And usually to a cop, to, maybe it was to a cop he got scared and wanted to spit it I think that's him. it more. Yeah. I, I think I think he was just trying to get by. Not he not he's not wanting to talk to a police officer. So yeah, he's not wanting to talk make to Make your mind up whatever reason. Um the bar situation at Luke 32 is so interesting that it's so like so many, many other cases. And I can't help but think that this whole thing started there because right. the timing and how efficient and how fast he is there and gone. Right. Th that's not a, that's not just a random crime, as you know, sir. Miss, right. Um, 930 and gone, disappeared by 10, right? 30 minutes. Gone. 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 Phone gone, right? They found his bank card. They confirmed the family confirmed his bank card in the general location of where he's last seen. That's weird too. Where's his wallet? Where's his phone? If he fell and slipped in the river, what you know, is the phone in there? Why didn't they find the phone? Why didn't they find his keys? Why didn't they find his wallet? That's kind of one of the weird things. The phenomenon of these disappearance wow. is usually the phone is broken. If you go back to Bobby right. Hurley, right? right? Bobby Hurley, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, there's been there's been other cases too, William. Where I'm sure you remember where they people have used the phone to to tease the police where he is, where the person's right. missing, and then we'll turn it off. Uh, I've seen right. that in cases, or the found the phone is found on the victim in his pants, like nothing, right. um, or smashed to pieces, or never found, um, or like in the Bryce Borka case just recently, they said they never found his phone, but. I had somebody tell me privately that the police had his phone. So, wow, that's I wild. mean, there's so much going on here. Yeah. Um, but there are similarities to other cases that come. Uh, Zach Marr pops uh, to mind. I mean, Bell in hand downtown Boston. Chris Wasn't Jenkins. That back in? Chris Jenkins. Yeah. I mean, Chris Jenkins. I mean, kicked out of the bar by security, mm -hmm. uh, walking by himself, vanished, just fr fraternity brother. Um, just different state and at a costume party at Halloween. I mean, there's right. literally there's so many where the there's a commotion where somebody gets in a fight or people don't know right. what's really going on. There's confusion. Right. And then one of their friends gets separated and people are confused. And then that person's gone. Right. Seamus Gray, right? Strange, two o'clock, yep. fighting, out of character, experienced drinker, rolling around on the cement. He looked like, drugged. Just yeah. like this, right? Yeah. I mean, same same yeah. deal. Was it having issues with security um, and people outside? I mean, again, just a lack of investigation. I never under they never followed people who Seamus was uh, st scuffling with outside. Right. I mean, right. just did you know that I was just told today that Chicago just recently got a missing persons department? Do you know that? Wow, no, I didn't know that. A that city that big, crazy. that big. Wow, that's that's hard to believe. They have tons of missing people too, because they had a Chicago rampage of people disappearing. There's for sure yeah, the New York cases, right? The New York cases out of the bars and the boroughs, right? There were three in a row, back to back. I mean, these are um, remarkable. But yeah, this case particularly, Riley Strain, no body. Right, the body floats. I mean, if you want to get graphic, yes, about three to five or seven days. They're doing I'm, over and over sonar, right? Definitely by now. Um, yeah. Definitely by now. It's it's a it's warm. It's spring. Um, you know, even if it would have been an accident, I mean, the more even if it would have been an accident, he would have been found much sooner because he would have been closer to shore and the water would have been more shallow. He decomposition would have been faster. He would have already risen to the surface. He would have already been found. That's this right. that, this right. points to the abduction that right. Somebody has him. Somebody has him somewhere. Oh, for the sure. family will be lucky if he's found with all this attention, to be honest with you, I think. Because this is odd, too, is that I made a post, and these bots came up Damn. with some responses that have some kind of, they look real, mm -hmm. but these are clearly bots. Like, that was so fast. Like, why? Who has unleashed the bot army on this? This is the first time I've seen this in any Smiley Face Killer case or any Smiley Face Killer post. Yeah. Like, oh, uh, he must be under the bridge, blah, blah, blah. You know, they're kind of making fun. And the same thing happened. There were other real people, too, who kind of jumped on. It was very odd. Like, why aren't you helping to try to solve this and ask questions and things like that? Like, it's just so strange. It is strange. I've gotten the most hate of any case ever. Yeah, yeah. 
uh, for sure. Um, I, I, I was going to say, there might be other things. His personal belongings may be where his ID was thrown. I, I, his ID, right. as you know, we'll say for people who don't know, it's, it's a red herring. That ID was thrown right. to give the illusion that and, and to tease, right, to pretend that that's there. And it looks right. like there's so many homeless people down there. It'd be hard right. to tell if his wallet and his phone is even down there or, or his cowboy boots that he was wearing. Right. And I think somebody commented on the card that it had no no fingerprints. So it had been cleaned. Who does that? Right. Only a, only a thinking criminal would pull that off. Suspicious I, I of the people suspicious. who found it. I will say, um, yeah. I, I'm suspicious of some other people in another case who found a cell phone and turned it on, and people sus are suspicious right. that maybe that person um, was involved. It wouldn't be the first time that like a killer was in got involved in these cases, because I was yeah, just going over this case in Oxford. His name was, well, he was known by Scarlet Rose, but he involved himself in the case and was saying, oh, too bad this guy drowned online, so he was saying that. And he went and visited the site of the death and took pictures of it and stuff. So it may be the same thing with this case. Is like the the killers or killer or are reliving this by visiting it. But yeah, yeah, it's they're gonna suspicious. they're gonna they're gonna dump him though, William. They're not gonna keep him I, even with all the attention. I don't believe it. It's it's yeah. too big of a case. Um, they're gonna try to try to play it off like an accidental death. That that a hundred percent. No, for sure. That's that's what's yeah. coming. Yeah. Um, we may wait. What was uh, Joey Labute was 19 days. Dakota James 40. Some of these other ones. What's the guy out of Boston who came out of TD Garden and went north and then his phone pinged south? Michael and then he was Kelleher? found in Kelleher. Yeah. Yeah. He was found on Easter. Easter. Right. You forgot. Yeah. Easter morning. Yeah, I did. Yeah, um, so this could be it. Easter's what? Seven days away? Well, yeah. Uh, something like that. Um, so it's interesting. Nine days. I Maybe the way to Easter is like some kind of a cult, a cult signature or something. One of the things I wanted to mention is this Nicole Arbor. I'd heard her voice or her name because she was, I think, a commentator, kind of a right wing commentator or influencer. But she's like talks about a human trafficking trafficking ring and that she was roofied in Nashville. So they say she says here for people who can't see this ask the police about the human trafficking ring in town they don't want on the news so tourists aren't scared away or the roofie epidemic the answers are in there yeah that's from yesterday interesting yeah I've, and this I've is been, I, I have had people ask me about people being mugged in uh nashville and it's connected or people's cell phones being stolen i'm like no that's that's not what this is right nobody's ever we been robbed <clears throat> Not to my knowledge, you know, of all the cases that I've looked at, it's been a lot. Four hundred. There's no action on their credit card, their banks. You know, there's no bank stuff. Maybe one. There was a weird one, like something was done with Dakota James, like there was something after like two or three weeks, but that was it. Bank huh. card was never used. Just like this is Jennifer Coffendaver who is commenting on this case a lot, but oh, I got some real questions about her. I now. can't stand. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'll just put that out there. I don't, I don't want any, I don't want any help from them. Yeah, this is like a really, group. this is a, yeah, this is a really funny one because this is how things can get distorted by other people's minds. She's writing the embankment of that river was treacherous, yep. and all I'm looking at is like it's yep. like a light slope with a bunch of rocks leading out to slow water. Like it's just oh, easy yeah. to lose one's footing. Where was? Where's his body dead then? If he tripped um, and drowned, he, they would have found his body by now. So they would have. And yeah. if he'd have fallen right there, he'd have uh, really serious trauma because of how high that is. Mm -hmm. um, I was just told that too. But she, in particular, is an enemy to what we're doing. Uh, her group, I've seen them offer. They've been very busy this past week saying this is an accident. Oh wow! And or you know, they. I saw Jennifer say on Twitter that. You know, it's possible these people are autistic or special needs, and that's why they're oh, wow. following. So they're yes, it out there. Wow. I didn't yes, know that. and or and then another one was that you know, they men were just going over to pee and falling in, and they. That's they the oldest story in the book. That's it's, the oldest story. That's boy. what they said about uh, Lady Bird. Like, oh, they're they're, they're so peeing. uninebriated they can get to the river and pee, but then they fell in and couldn't get out. Just, just no common sense. Just yeah. absolutely crazy. Uh, 
you know, it, oh yeah, fifteen it, people fell went and peed over here and fell in and drowned. Yeah, nothing. That's not funny. Right. So this is another example of this is Terry Silver. Circle where the spot his phone last pinged, and then marker where these three men were spotted. Like, why did his phone stop pinging there? It's crazy. It just doesn't make sense. And then the you know people need to look on who's on the bike, who's on the. You know who's in the cars? These all need to be investigated. But who? I mean, there's this rumor that somebody's wearing his shirt. You don't believe that, right? I don't. I don't believe that. I, I, I've seen other cases where the homeless have been an excuse to smear or make uh, offer a smoke screen that it's never be it's never provable, right? Who's making these accusations? I don't. I don't recall one homeless pe person being caught for these crimes ever. Homeless people aren't doing like, these crimes. Yeah, because they're not. Yeah. You would think they would get busted easily, right? Like, oh, this guy caught this guy and threw him in water, you know, or something. I mean, if it was that easy, you know, people would yeah. be busted for sure already. But, you know, back to this video, I don't think I don't think they know there was a camera there. I think, I think people right. are sweating yeah. right now. Yeah, I think you're right. I hope I so. Right. But damn Keystone cops in Nashville. Right. They're uninterested. We embarrassed the crap out of them yesterday. Um, yeah, they need to go look at everything around there. Phone pings. They need to look at the cars. Why did that car slow down in a weird way? Why right. was it? You know, why is it so, slowing down at 10 p.m.? Like, what's going on? You know, so I talked the guy to in white. Yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Sorry, right, go ahead. I was going to say. So I talked to Detective Gannon today, and he was asking about this and about. You know, he wanted to know if maybe he should try to contact Riley's parents or just wait back if he could help. But and I said, well, you know, what 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 would you tell them? And I'll, and I'll tweet this out. And he said, I would tell them that they should go get bloodhounds and immediately start uh, checking his scent and find out exactly. And I don't think to my knowledge that's been done at all. And that's yeah. crazy. Um, that's surprising. And yeah. they used that, was it the Zamlin case? It was Jenkins, too. They got bloodhounds out, right? Many. Yeah. Multiple yeah. ones. Yeah. They could even pick them up if they got into a car because it would end right there. They can they can even have the scent even in a car um, right. and can get a better. I mean, we could put so much of this conjecture and, you know, debate right. to bed. Um, right. Again, it just doesn't seem like they're very serious. The Nashville police, that is. Um, have you seen the other bodies at the other marina? As well, bodies there, locally. Have I? No, I don't know. There was have a, you? a male. Yes, there was a male uh, found. I guess this week, earlier this week. Oh, uh, right in the water. Was well, it? Didn't they uh -huh. say he was Hispanic or something? Bald Hispanic guy. Bald Hispanic, oh, yeah. but yeah. for no reason, you know, right. at the marina. Uh, right. There's been other victims at that marina. So there's been. There's also there has been. I have a follower whose son. The same thing happened to her son in Nashville in 2013. So oh, wow. it, it, it's same it's thing. happened there before. Wow. Yes, but not to this degree. So it's, it's interesting. Well, they, I don't remember them telling a story about why the Latino guy who was bald was in the water either. You know, not given. Yeah, not given. They don't. I just know. saw. Yeah, I saw this was interesting because this is your part of town. Uh, you're in Georgia, and this is Atlanta bars. Young men said they were drug kidnapped, robbed of thousands of Atlanta bars. So. You know, why isn't this? It's probably not not surprising it's happening in Nashville. And then this is the so-called bank card that was found of Riley Strain for people who don't know. This is his missing thing. And this is Hotel Tempo is on the far left. And he was last seen right there in between the two. Last ping, I should say, is in between those two bridges. Then this is a press conference. So they're all over the news. It's really something else. So they got this Cajun, United Cajun Navy out there, in addition to the police, right, which is really something else. And then they went down to this dam uh, downstream. It, uh, it's called the Cheatham County Lock and Dam near Ashland City. And it was a focused effort, supposedly, but they didn't find them. Concluded the search for the Riley Strains concluded the Cheatham Lock and County Dam. He was not found. Yeah. It was uh, yesterday. There's another kid missing, Michael Webster, in Nashville, March 5th. I don't know if that's connected. And then just some of these. These are like other women who were drugged and got dangerous. They thought they were drugged by somebody 
could have been trafficked. So that's weird. Like they they don't remember anything. Interesting. You know. Yeah. So hotel we were taken away in an ambulance. Woke up in the hospital not knowing why the heck we were there. If those were thank you. So they were saved by just some good Samaritans actually. But it's just an interesting story. The woman one asked if the guy was with us, and thankfully a no was made out of us. These women found us our way back to the hotel in the neighbor. So anyway, this is raw. This is a good picture of Riley Strain's last steps, right? Mm -hmm. So there's Luke 32. There's Tempo by Hilton. He's totally going the wrong way for some reason, but he's on a, a line somewhere. I don't know where. Like just that like so me. many cases, just absolutely yeah. textbook. So many things. Yep. Um. Yeah, it is. And then, oh. do you want to talk about this? This was something you sent to me today. Which somebody checked out from me on Facebook and said, yeah, this is very unusual. It is unusual, but I don't know what to think about it. I, I thought maybe it was something more, but I don't know if there is or not. I, I would say it does look to be like a taunt, except for the cell phone um, was put for sale six weeks ago. Right. Um, but let's which, let's assume that's let's say that's not Riley's cell phone. What if it's somebody else? What if they're trying to what if this is a repeat offender? Right. So Riley no just one missing of though. What? No, no one's been missing there. Though, right, but what if somebody got knowing. robbed? They need to look for robberies and see if those two things are hot from mm -hmm. six weeks ago, because then it would tie into this. Somebody, by the way, posted this for sale. It's 2008 Ford Fusion S sedan. The one day after Riley went missing, so that would be right. And he's wearing a smiley face. Smiley that face. That is slipper. weird. That is yeah, weird. weird. And I and I will say, yeah, and that's sure. a day before. I, before I tweeted anything about wow. uh, smiley face, yeah, I mean that's pretty. That is pretty weird. I I will say, but I mean, I don't know. Well, you know, it's good to just ask questions. It is For our sure. the Tommy's. Like, whenever you see a smiley face, it's weird. But so these are the phone, and Riley had an iWatch and an iPhone, correct? Mm -hmm. So these might be they may be targeting somebody else, and there's a faint reflection of this guy. In one of these pictures, I thought I put it up, but I didn't. It's in this this cell phone pic. You can kind of see his other hand and his face. But uh, if anybody, if anybody's listening to this in Nashville and you got robbed, you got drugged and robbed, send me an email. Especially if it was six weeks ago, or six weeks, you know, before Riley disappeared. Or you should call the police actually, because this might be your stuff. This might be a perp. Who knows? I don't know. Yeah, they definitely lead. definitely didn't steal. Um, I definitely don't believe. I know you don't either. But definitely, I was. People were asking me online about his phone and saying, "Well, his phone was just stolen." And I said, "No, if his phone was stolen, it would have been already turned on already. But it hasn't been. Right? right? That's right. it hasn't. The people yeah, who took him, hasn't. they have it. And it's. Uh, it's we'll see if it's recovered or not." Mm. This was a guy drugged past Sunday, St. Patty's Day, 20 peeps group. His behavior was outrageous after one drink of bourbon and Coke. They had to leave downtown. He slept for 17 hours. That's a, not a normal. This was recently? Drink. Yeah. This was Sunday? It's March. Yeah, it's March 20th. In Boston? No, that was uh, in Nashville. Nashville? Well, interesting. Yeah. yeah. And then there's somebody, this guy, SF Investigates, Steve Fisher, is looking, still looking for him in the water like he, he went downstream or something. Yeah. Hilarious, that's, yeah, that's questionable. I'm not a fan. Uh, I won't, I won't throw stones, I'll be respectful, but I'm not a fan of these um true crime accounts yeah. that don't say anything and are scared to say anything non politically correct and are pretending like Riley fell in the water and yeah. they don't know what they're talking about and they just want clicks and attention. It's pathetic, yeah. That's something else. This guy makes a quote, but it's interesting. He says. A couple that called into Ashley Banfield's show said Riley was on speakerphone with one, possibly two people who sounded like they were directing him somewhere. Mm -hmm. I think there was some place specific he was trying to get to, and he was heard on the phone by both the couple and in the body cam footage. Whoever was on the other end of that call was trying to navigate him to that destination. Interesting. One of the I'm... reasons everyone thinks he was lost is because he turned around after crossing at the corner and looked back as if he was confused. I don't believe that's the case. It's now that it's known that he spoke to the couple who crossed the street with him. I believe he turned around to address them, not because he was lost. Interesting. It makes sense that he was directed somewhere. Somebody was talking to him, or something happened. Sure, seemed that way. Doesn't yeah. definitely had a purpose. 
know, this is an Austin that. drugging. Somebody's, yeah. you know, I get sent stuff all the time. Like, mm -hmm. they're people's drugging stories. Like, I could do a whole show on people drugged and surviving or something like that. But this yeah. is just, you know. The drug stories that I've ever been told, though, are not like that. But you know, I've shared those yeah. with you, too. Much yeah. out of the bar. I mean, you're not supposed to survive. And I, I mean... Yeah. Only I've seen three people survive, other than Colin Fortney and their book, right? A long time ago, right? Colin Fortney, uh, but, Christian Pugh, right? Pugh, the kid, the Georgia Tech student, yep. who had Christian Pugh and this Georgia Tech student, they were both supposed to die. They had a hundred thousand dollars in medical bills each, each, wow. Wow. and should have died. And the other victim was the guy in Boston who was arrested in the wall. On right, that's right, that's he, right. And, and he was arrested right after he was almost murdered. And I mean, when they immediately when they rescued him, they immediately put him in handcuffs. Anyway. Right. He went to court with no shame. He literally wasn't afraid. He just walked into court and said, "Judge, I don't remember. I was drugged. Like he, he, he was clearly he was. He said it wasn't alcohol. So there's other. Yeah, there was one. I think it was in New York where they found a guy in the water who said he didn't know he got there either. In New Jersey, long time West ago. Georgia, I remember. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like in Boston, where the guy was hit in the head. Yes, the right. Celtics game. Yeah, that was a very recent one. That was the end of 2023. So that was. I had a, a whole, whole chapter of that. Yeah, I had a whole chapter on that. Uh, mm -hmm, you did because they pictured the guy who was with him. The first guy who was with him. Nobody questioned him. Nobody. <laughs> Don't even so know who crazy. he is. Oh my gosh. These police, they don't know. They don't know what they have. They don't understand these people are communicating in our network. Like this guy, Scarlett uh, Blake in Oxford, UK. He's on the, he's online under different pseudonyms talking to people. And clearly it's cross jurisdictional because he flew and met with his paramour lover transgender dude in austin texas right this ashland bell guy so you know these guys i mean what they should find out when he was into austin if it correlates with some of these other disappearances damn it for right? sure for sure i mean that's so simple it is i agree it's so but simple Jim, you, but gosh. you have to want to uh I, yeah I've, i'm more convinced than ever that crime stats have play a huge part of this i know we've talked about it a little bit but this the the prospect of police departments taking murders um and changing them from accidental drownings to murders is never going to happen there that's right. there no one's interested in doing that nope no ever way. no matter what there's only one that comes to mind which, which is chris jenkins that's it yeah but they but they but the other thing is the difference between the parents statements and the police, too, is also something. Scott Bake Radel's dad literally said, somebody is driving around Wisconsin in a car, abducting and killing people. And then the police said accidental drowning. You know? Like, he was running for, from somebody, if you remember that story. And then there was another kid. There's so many kids. I mean, if you're in Minnesota, there's so many kids who were found down by the river, just like Chris Jenkins. But one of I can't remember his name, but his dad was the same thing. My son would never do that. It was out of character. He was murdered. Oh, accidental drowning. Right. For so sure. I think that I think that and this is a part of a larger pattern of these government agencies, administrative bodies fudging the stats for their own benefit. Yeah. It's bad. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, um people talk about the old I forget his name. He's been on interview many times. He's the old police chief in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Um oh, uh, I'll tell you he worked hard from what i've heard I, I don't know i don't know if right. i can say that without getting sued but from what i heard didn't work very hard uh on the young men being murdered in his town he pretended like he did but the chief of police in boston had to come out and say that this is not a pattern like it's to me it's a total political statement and the same thing with dakota james if you remember like they bungled the medical examination it's obvious I mean, For they sure. had the, the family. I mean, it's so sick that the family has to go get a third party, and the people who are involved in this Riley strain, you know, God bless them, but they should be prepared to get a, a third, you know, a second opinion than the government. What the government's telling them. I'm sorry. It's yes, like, they terrible. they have to be prepared to yeah. privately get answers immediately as immediately. well.
Correct. Yes. They're so confused, though. I feel so bad. Just and and, the, and they don't know where to turn. And there's so many theories. I can't imagine what they're going through. It's just really terrible. Yeah. No, it's terrible. It's like you and you've seen it over and over more than I have, and I still like get frustrated and pissed. And it's you've the same lot, pattern of the police pattern too. Mm -hmm. It's like, dude, when is yes. this going to end? Right. Well, and, and and they've also really started censoring the stories a lot more where they yeah. don't when they when they announce when bodies are found now, they don't tell you the location. And I feel like that's done intentionally. Yeah, um, right. And if you do a little digging, I've done I've tried to do some digging around the edges other than what's just reported publicly. And it's usually what you think, you know, yeah, by yeah. a water victim. Right. And they don't yeah. want to say that publicly because they don't like that. There's too many right. of them. Yeah, they're strange. They don't want to spook the public. This public is spooked on this case. So I can tell you that. They can't hide yeah. it anymore. Yeah, it's so it's, it's so right. out there, William, with yeah. with Ladybird and Chicago, yeah. and you know the Mirage and New Jersey. Um, right. You know, it's just it's out of control. It's the biggest it's ever been right now, and yeah. people really have no idea. And until they now. Have no idea. And the Mirage for the Mirage is the uh the nighttime club in Brooklyn, right? That's yes, sir. The other three that were associated. With. Yeah, pretty scary place. Scary, yeah. Yeah. Scary. Uh but these are just like I just showing like slides about they're just coverage is day after day. Uh, you can follow it on News Nation, seen last pictures, and then this is the Texas uh, AM students are missing killers. Yes. Yeah. Yep, another Another Texas A&M student. There's a, there's a Texas A&M student who they found in Austin. This was like six months ago. Wow. Uh, he was on the riverbank. He was he was a Texas A&M student, and they ended up finding him in Austin. But anyway, that's the second Texas A&M student. This kid vanished at three in the morning. There's a yep. Uber somehow involved again. He was supposed yep. to be delivering food, and he's gone. They were searching the, the bay for him. Yep. You know, at the same time. Yeah. This is the TikTok searcher who supposedly found the card. So maybe you can ask her how she found it. Wow, interesting. Who are your friends? This is so funny. This is the joke one. Like a Mizzou student, Riley Strain, may have underestimated treacherous riverbanks. So they're starting to cover up. This is not treacherous. You can go watch that river. It's I a saw. joke. It is. I could swim across it for fun. Like, like yep. it's like. And then the bat. Oh, sorry. Are you watching? Uh, I just clicked off something. Sorry. Um, this uh there's 24 hour surveillance at the at the dam but they still can't find them right so cheatham dam and now somebody writes in news nation this is two days ago tips going to cold case unit so it's, is it already a cold case geez that would be terrible that would be a joke i don't care at all yeah a couple interacted with them yeah riley's shirt was in fact worn by a homeless person you say that's not true well uh, those are my slides I mean, yeah I mean, we can go back to this video. It's really something else. This is the most incredible video. Right after he passes, people come out from this little section. Mm -hmm. Like, this should be the focus of the police and maybe the local. I don't know. You know, the, uh, be on the There's lookout, gotta be, guys. Got to yeah. be more videos. Yeah. That that truck that just drove by first, it has a very distinct sticker on the side of the truck. They The police need to track that down. Police yeah. need to get, look at these these cars right there. Right. Yeah, watch this cars, other car right? slow down. Why is right. he slowing down? Can we He's going like 20 miles an hour? Somebody else just posted another video online of this, and it's like people carrying something. Oh. Did you see that? Just no. recently, before I came on. Nope. nope. I can't tell if I'll it's the same people. It it's very strange. There's so much going on right here. Um, the good news is that people are on it. Like, this is kind of crowdsourced. Like, it, I, I, I have kind of misgivings right. about that but i have to say that there's a lot more information coming from the public and from different angles than i've ever seen in any other case it's really something else like and good good information there's bad no it's good information you're yeah. right it, it is this is how the true crime committee um community is supposed to work um, yeah, right. I'm, I'm very frustrated with the true crime community because there's so many people that say nothing and just suck attention and they're selfish um when really this should be the first crime that the true crime com community tries to solve and they can. And right. when they actually work, look what, what can happen. Look what right. just happened. Instead, people obsess about cases that are sad. Yes. But 
are over and people right it's so frustrating like the delphi the murders crime, right you yeah. know it, like those poor little girls like i'm i'm sorry that's really sad and stuff but they caught that guy yeah, you know did. i mean like there's a ton of other crimes we could be working on and you know yeah. there's tons of drowning uh cases and people are, are talking about stuff like that so right. frustrating i hope if they catch these people they really give them a good grilling and find out what they're doing online who their friends are that they don't just do some kind of triumphal victory march and convict them on just this one crime. Something tells yeah. me that these guys are involved in other stuff. And, you know, they're not convicting just... anyone without a body. Well, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. But does anybody have any questions for Jim? Anybody out there? Anybody want to put any questions into YouTube? Um, thanks a lot for listening. You can watch, you can go see Jim Smith. And all's great research at Twitter at Smiley Face Cult going back almost 10 years now. Like you can just scroll through like a history record of research into the Smiley Face killings on his YouTube, on his uh, Twitter or X, I should say, uh, threads or sites. So, um, do you have anything you'd like to add, Jim? I mean, you're posting every day, super active, people are sending you stuff. So, People go follow Jim at uh, Smiley Face Cult on Twitter. Yeah, no, sure. thanks. Thanks for the uh, support. Again, appreciate uh, your book that you wrote. I think it's great. Uh, um, I think that's a great place for people to start on this subject if you're not familiar with it. Um, if you want to be involved and you want to help get involved locally and work, um, hold your uh, government accountable for these cases when they happen in your backyard. That's what you can do to help. Right, right. Hold them accountable and kind of look around. There might be some people to, like, there could be uh, graffiti out there that we could copycat graffiti, but some strange graffiti and things showed up and there might be stuff on the ground. You just don't know. If the police aren't looking in the right area, you know, it's just like, I, I just feel like there's other evidence out there that is left to be discovered. But, uh, Agreed. This is a cra crazy one, and I think maybe I, I thought maybe his body would show up this weekend, but uh, yeah, uh, we'll, if they, we'll see. Yeah, we'll it's going to be soon. I I um I will say that this case is so popular, and that this we haven't seen everything from this story yet. There's a lot right. left, I I think, before Riley's found that we're going to uh, see, um, and where he's found is very important. Is it downriver? Is it yeah. upriver? Is it yeah. Like right. Arvind Sharma. Remember Arvind Sharma? Yes. Up river. Literally up river river in DC on the Anacostia River. Like that. They should have said there was something suspicious right away. Like it doesn't make any sense. No common sense. Yeah. yeah just disappeared out of a bar, found up river. All right, guys. Too bad. So anyway, yeah, Thanks you can find out all these cases. They're just some of these cases defy credulity too because like they say oh it's a rushing they plunged into this river and then you'll find out it's a pond or a creek that Six is about inches. you know a foot deep like uh hudson lindau right that was, that was oh. literally a creek they said he drowned in like a creek that a two-year-old kid would get out of like it just doesn't even it doesn't can we talk about that real quick in your book yes. that's one of the best points about your book that i don't think anyone's pointed out online about Hudson Lindau. Lindau yeah. How do you pronounce his name? Lind Hudson Lindau, I think. L -I -N -D -O -W, Lindau. Okay. Yeah. So that you found two other victims, uh, two victims in the same creek. I didn't realize there was one in 2013, not just Hunter. Wow. And if you posted that, in your, right. that's in your book. No one did that. And I, I find that there's a lot more going on to that case. I don't yeah, believe Brian yeah. Kohlberger acted alone. I, yeah, I don't to think that's impossible. Again, that goes against logic. Um, and the case of Hunter six months before those four were stabbed, I mean, proves to me be, that's a smoking gun. There's a lot yeah. more going on in that town. And Brian and what happened with Hunter. Um, Hell yeah. We have yeah. a picture of him at the murder house. Yep. Right, all four yeah. were at the party that Hunter was. Yeah, Hud leaving. Hudson. I think his name was Hud Hudson, Hudson Lindau. Excuse me, Hudson H U D S O N. Yeah. I think it was. Hudson. Thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yes, okay. Okay. but uh, what I said still true. All four were at that party yeah. with him. He vanished as an accidental drowning in six inches of water in that creek. I um I requested a Freedom of Information Act for that case. I didn't realize there was another one in 2013. It was denied. Wow. Uh, why is an accidental drowning wow. denied? That's 
I've had right. a couple they of should... those recently, by the way. Yeah, that's uh, weird. Mm -hmm. Wow. But you're that's... the only person to find the 2013 as well. I don't know how you found that, but that's great research. And that's I don't know, but there was in, that in picture book. of him. There's like a picture of him right in front of the murder house of the Correct. Of the Moscow Four. It's correct. It's a totally incredible. Like people are making these connections. Six Gosh. months before. Yeah. Six so months and I, before. Koberger is kind of like an SFK uh, prototype or whatever. Like something a, for sure. A thing. He something. was driving around late at night. He was doing yes. weird things. He was like he was criminally sophisticated. He's intelligent. He studied under, studied under that woman. Who wrote about the BTK killer, right? I forgot what her name was. Like yeah. he literally was in a graduate school for criminology. Mm -hmm. Like, what other crimes is that guy? He's moving across jurisdictions, right? I mean, I like, think there's so much smoke there, and no one yeah. seems curious at all. Oh, God. And I and beyond and the fact that they go beyond common sense of how yeah. one person could stab four people like that. Right. You can you couldn't stab one person without them freaking out. The other three would freak out. They would just go into fight or flight. Yeah, immediately. By, if absolutely. by slipping a knife in somebody one time, come. Absolutely. I mean, it's again. I hate that to kick law enforcement. Sense. I respect them so much, but uh, people aren't trying very hard. It doesn't seem like it. Like I think <laughs> about this guy, Scarlett Blake. He was literally going to Texas or Colorado. Like, is is you just got busted for one crime? Like these guys are have all the hallmarks hallmarks of serial killers. Mm -hmm. They have like serial killer knowledge. Like they study them, study them, and weird. Like Scarlet I think Break there's a lot more fetish. people than we think like that. Yeah, out there, William, right. obviously. And that's why these disappearances keep happening is because they're trying to commit the perfect crime. That was so strange about the Scarlet Blake case, is that he literally said, "I committed the perfect crime." That was his goal. Hmm. And he really did. If he had told his transgender prostitute boyfriend in, in Austin, Texas, the police there would never have known. And I, I don't, they don't ask him the right questions. Like there should be something in criminology or law enforcement where like, we have to get to the bottom of why this person did this. We need to really ask them more questions. We can't just convict them and throw them in jail and be done right. with it. Like it's some kind of weird kind of Catherine Ramsland. Thanks, Mr. Zex. Uh, there it's some kind of weird narrow tunnel vision where like I'm just catching this guy and we're done. Like these guys are online sharing stuff. The guy was sharing cat murder videos, like um, and Luca Magnata too, right? He was totally an international killer. He's busted in Germany, I think. So this is the new Katama crime, the sophisticated, dark-minded, cross-jurisdictional criminal people, man. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, no, it's not, they're there. Pretty scary. Yeah, people have to be be really concerned, and men have to hang out together just like women. Like you got to get everybody home alone. Everybody gets home alone, just like you're going into freaking like the jungle and Nam. Like everybody sure. goes out, everybody gets home safe, not drug, not hurt, and stop sure. stop letting people wander off alone. Like you just can't. It's just but not. You can't even do that because yeah. I mean, what happened to Riley happened so fast. Yeah. If your friend fast. gets separated from you, you can't even get out of the bar that fast to find out right. go, what's going on with your friend. These people are so ruthless. Yeah. Very scary. So fast. By 9.30, gone by 10. Wow. Yeah. 30 minutes. I mean, a lot, a lot more to come, fast. dude. Yeah. Yeah. Jim, thanks so much for your time. And again, people, it's at Smiley Face Cult. You can find his contact information there. And he's definitely on this case and getting a lot of unique information so keep a lookout and go follow him there and uh, you can see my two documentaries on my uh, vimeo page which is not searchable on google for some reason all this other smiley face garbage pops up but you can actually go to vimeo and type in william ramsey or go to my patreon and pay five dollars a month and you can just watch all my documentaries for free and my book is available on amazon which i think is a really good starting point because it shows that the research has been evolving over time the credible research because there is there are these cul-de-sacs or fake things this uh where ellis movie came out where it's like a uh, serial killer it's like that's a false uh lead and there's another fake smiley face killers movie that looks like a documentary that's out there that's fake and it makes you wonder why it's fake and why these other people mm -hmm. are popping up on threads with information right away 
to discount you or fight with you. Like, who's paying for that? Why is that happening? I, mm -hmm. I posted something. Somebody was on there within 30 seconds. It's like, something's watching my account. There's no question. Mm -hmm. So anyway, anyway, Jim Smith, Smiley Face Cult, thanks so much for your time. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? No, sir, William. Thanks so All much right, cool. for everything. All right, take care. Talk to you stay soon. There. Bye. Stay there. Yeah, stay there. Stay there. Stay okay. there.